We're at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where tonight the Raiders host crosstown rival Sheboygan South. Hello, everybody. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Jim Lair should be walking behind us with some signs for Bill Wagner, so don't pay attention to him. Just look at us. Hey, South comes in tonight 7-10, and 10, Chris. They lost the first game on some fluke plays, actually, at the end, 43-39, uh, to 39, uh, but they played North very tough. Yeah, and we said it all, all year long. This was supposed to be the year for South. They're hoping to move up in the conference this year, and uh, North maybe was a little bit down this year, and, and things just haven't turned out for uh, South as well as they should have probably wanted it to be. But I'll tell you what, this is probably one of the toughest leagues in the entire state. Uh, Bob top to bottom I mean this is just a really strong league and they move to the upper echelon this year is really tough uh, South comes in four and eight in conference South uh, South comes in four and eight North is only six and five uh, they've hit a rough part of the schedule and uh, I think I've got them two and two over the last four games uh, overall though they're uh, 12 and five yeah, I talked to Coach Spielman a little bit, and he said they have kind of hit a rut and a drought. You know, they, they, they seem to be in a lot of games, even against the, the good teams like the Pier and things like that. They were right in that game. Uh, they did revenge an earlier loss to Manitowoc just the other day, but he said they just haven't been stringing things together. Kids haven't been playing, you know, as well as they were before. They've also had a, a sick punk. Connor was sick for a while, and I understand the Wolf girls were sick this week, so if it's not one thing, it's another, but... You know, Coach Spielman's kind of trying to make a push towards the end of the season and towards tournament play as it's now. Uh, the two Wolf girls are not going to start. They will play. They were sick during the week and missed some practice time. And uh, Coach Spielman said on the way into the gym that they weren't going to start. But uh, North has some good players out there. And uh, the one thing that did hurt them in the first game were all the turnovers that South uh, created. South plays very tough. Yeah, I think a key to both teams. I have two written things written down, turnovers and foul trouble. Uh, whichever team probably commits more turnovers is probably going to lose the basketball team, team game, and the team that maybe gets into foul trouble might also be a key. So let's watch for those two things. So Marty hit it right on the head. Taking care of the basketball, I think, for both teams is important and staying out of foul trouble. Now, Deluga Polsky is averaging 10.6. Use it all is 9.9. Uh, and then they got one of the Wolf girls is Mackenzie Madison Wolf averaging 8.6. They've got pretty good balance. South on their flip side has Kimberly Wyman averaging 9.1, Molly Burkhardt 8.7, and Kara Selk 7.3. They don't seem to score as much. No, uh, I, I was thinking the same thing. There's a you know, no double digit scores for Sheboygan South, but I looked, I saw that North is only averaging 51 points a game, and South's at 49. So. And yeah, look at, difference yeah, you look at the numbers, and I was saying the same thing. As you look at the starters for North, it seems like they got more of the 10 in the top. So they're, they're kind of more top-heavy where there's a lot more balance for Sheboygan South. But uh, on the flip side, Sheboygan North's only giving up 33 points a game, and that's, that's incredible, you know, considering going through all the teams they played and things like that. And South is giving up 46 points. So they, they still have more points than their opponents, but they have a losing record. Sometimes that point total that you give up as a result of the turnovers that you uh, incur, you know, leading to fast break points. But I think part of the reason why North averages defensively lower point totals is they tend to slow the game down. Yeah, they. Coach Fieldman brought in a new thing from Coach Runnis when she was running here. He's running some of the stuff he ran at, at balls and things. And, you know, it was a learning process, a learning curve for the girls this year. And, you know, they're catching on and things like that. You know, they, they do have some veterans, you know, Connor and stuff like that, but there, there's going to be some girls that we're going to see for a number of years for Sheboygan North, where, as I mentioned before, this was supposed to be the year for Sheboygan South. They have a lot of seniors on this basketball team, and they would like nothing better than to get one at North here. There's about three and a half minutes left on the clock before we're going to have the introduction of the uh, starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public educational and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. 
Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Did you know that 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented by simply wearing proper eye protection? I'm Dr. Tamara Fountain for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We recommend that every household keep protective eyewear on hand to use during home projects and other activities that can cause injuries. Know your risks, save your sight. To learn more about eye health, visit GetEyeSmart.org. I wouldn't let my peeps drop drunk. Do you? Do you? Do you? I got one. Do you? Actually, I got two. Designated drivers, that is. Keep your head screwed on straight. Don't drive drunk. I don't. Do you? Do you? Do, do you? you? Don't drink and drive. We don't. Do you? Brought to you by Rad, Terry Fader, and My Safe Ride Home. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. I'm looking for my safe ride home. Do you? It's your home, it's your dream. Great on testing, keep it healthy and clean. Make it green, green, green. Making it green starts from the ground up, so make sure the air in your home is healthy for your family to breathe. Test your home for the presence of radon. Go to epa.gov slash radon. Make it green. Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out North High School's a cutie field house. We uh, have the starting lineups at this point. We mentioned South comes in 7 and 10, 4 and 8 in conference. North is uh, 12 and 5, 6 and 5 in conference. Erica Trum, a senior, is one of the starters. Rachel Smith. Senior. Hello, I'm Dr. Regina Benjamin, U.S. Surgeon General. Brisk. Erica Chum, guard, senior. Rachel Smith, guard, senior. Molly Burkhard, center, senior. 
Kimberly Wyman, forward, senior. Kara Selk, guard, senior. And now for Sheboygan North. I'm Macy Conter and I'm playing post this year and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Connor Ligopolsky. I am a guard and a senior. I'm Lindsay Gussie and I play guard and I'm a junior. Taylor Dahlman, guard, senior. I'm Mackenzie Wolf. I'm a post and I'm a sophomore this year. Trust me, Eric told me they weren't starting tonight. <laughs> Our officials tonight are uh, three good ones. We have uh, Tom Hunick from Cedar Grove, Todd Van Ness from Oostburg, and Terry Verstrati from Kiel. Uh, Terry's uh, an accomplished football official who's worked bowl games. So that would, I'd call him accomplished if he's doing that. Yep. Uh, you may have seen uh, Jim Larish walking behind us with some signs. We want to give a shout out to uh, Bill Wagner. He's in the hospital. Get well, Bill. Uh, they miss you here at North High School. Coach here. Here and his brother was a coach at South. Yeah, so very Paul. important to uh, women's basketball here in Sheboygan. <clears throat> Paul had uh, some really great teams over at South. Uh, had a long winning streak over the north side before uh, Susie Runas came on board and was able to crack that. Wow, well, there was some... Tom Hunick is going to toss it up here at center court. Pretty good girls that came up too, the Churchills and uh, well, yeah. Hayward and that Kayla Tetchlaw girl, she was all right. Man to man defense by the Southsiders. North generally pretty patient on their offense. Had it tipped out of bounds. Selk tipping it out. North does like to slow it, and, uh, slow it down, get it inside. They have uh, Madison Wolf is uh, six three. Beluga Polsky uh, gets fouled. She's going to be shooting a pair, driving it to the hoop. Rachel Smith picking up the foul. To Lugopolsky, the left-hander. It's that second one in. It's at one to nothing north. Well, North looked like they were going to press, but backed off a little bit. I'm sure we'll see it later. North also in a man-to-man. -man. Trump looked like she had a drive to the basket, but uh, passed it off. Drive and a shot by Smith is up and good. Rachel Smith. Well, a little slow on the rotation for the Raiders that time, and Smith took advantage and. Here come the Red Wings. They're coming out in their press, which we did cause a lot of troubles for the Raiders the last time they played. But that was a long time ago. Over 20 turnovers, right, that night? Yeah, that was December 8th. That was two months ago. Wolf establishing good position inside, but they didn't throw it in. Outside shot is off. Rebound goes to uh, Molly Burkhart. Molly having a nice senior season. He's been a good player for the Southsiders. Yep. Almost nine points per game. There's going to be a foul right away. Easy one. Yeah, Lugopolsky uh, making a silly foul there. Burkhart being guarded by Dahlman. Wolf had the right idea but was late stepping out and that allowed her to drive it to the basket and get it over to uh, Kimberly Wyman for an easy two. Kimberly their leading scorer. 
All senior starting lineup for South. From outside the line, Deluga Polsky's shot is no good. Mackenzie's Wolf, Wolf's rebound is no good. And then she gets another rebound and does put that in. 4 to 3 South. South being very patient also, trying to create opportunities. Pretty good defensive switch underneath the basket to keep Trum guarded. Conter rotating over, took the charge but no call. And then Selk gets the offensive rebound. Burkhardt inside, easy one. A lot of contact there on Contra, but they didn't call anything. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Official must have thought she did the flop. A good, good feed inside to Wolf. Her shot is up and in. Good pass by Deluga Polsky. Kenzie averaging six points a game. Use it all coming in. She normally starts, Chris. Also coming in is a Lauren File for South. Lauren's been a nice sixth person for the uh, Red Wings. Good rotation to Smith, pump fake, but couldn't get to the hoop. Selk drives and shoots and is fouled. She'll be shooting a pair. Deluga Polsky picks up her second, Chris. That could be uh, crucial. What do we say about foul trouble in the beginning, Marty? Yeah, you mentioned it. Good call. Leading scorer. <clears throat> Three and a half minutes in and going to find time on the bench. Selk uh, shot rimmed off. Coming right back in is Dahlman, Taylor Dahlman. And also stepping on the court now for the first time is Madison Wolf, number 52. Conter takes a seat. Well, somebody's going to have to take over the scoring duties. Yeah. South second shot is in at 7-5 to five South. Well, I mentioned earlier, Marty, that uh, Conner was out for a couple games with some illness and lost some close games without her. So uh, they have played without her, but she's still important. Throwing the ball away that time was Lindsey Gussie. Trying to get it inside. Selk's shot from outside the line is no good. Rebound goes to a Mackenzie Wolf. Boy, Dahlman standing over on the other side was wide open. But they, instead they feed it inside. And getting the basket was Mackenzie Wolf. She has six points. Yeah, three of three from the floor and three rebounds already. We're all tied up. Not many turnovers, Chris. It's been a pretty clean game. Selk posting up inside real good and nailing a three-point shot was Erica Trum. She was left open and she made him pay. I really like the start of South. They look like a lot of seniors. They look very confident, don't look nervous for a North-South game. Their trips have been uh, clean without any turnovers. They're getting good looks. Dahlman trying to go baseline, but Smith cuts that off. Gussie has it on top. Use it all. Second leading scorer for uh, the Raiders. Oh. And uh, going hard was uh, Taylor Dahlman. I, uh, I don't know if I would have called anything. She just kind of tripped over the feet, I think. And Rachel Smith picks up her second foul, Chris. Wow. Yeah. Well, one of the best players for each team in foul trouble early.
Good form, but couldn't get it in. Wojciech is uh, coming in for uh, South. There's 2.38 left in the first quarter. South on top, 10 to seven. Good block out that time by uh, Burkhart keeping Wolf off the glass. I thought that was one of the plays that actually cost South in the first North-South game was a missed free throw and one of the Wolf girls got the rebound and put it up and in. Wide open. Another wide open shot. That one Lauren File putting it in. North not covering up the shooters. Use it all looking real comfortable handling the ball. Takes it hard to the hoop and gets fouled by uh, Kara Selk. First foul on Selk. Kimberly Wyman back in and uh, Sarah Schrank in the game. Schrank a junior. Use it all in the lane, couldn't get it in. Wolf uh, had it tipped away and now there's a scrum on the floor. Possession arrow points south's way. Under two minutes left in the quarter. Norris switching defenses. And over and back. Wow. That's a uh, bad turnover. I mean, it wasn't any pressure. She just kind of threw it away. Unforced. Yeah. South had played a clean game until then, and then that was kind of a silly one. Use it all has it being guarded by Kara Selk. Skip pass over to Dahlman, her three-point attempt. Rainbow is off, no good. Great block out by Shrank, keeping Gussie off the board. Maletsky coming in. Aaron making her first appearance, number 22. Good passing by South. I was going to say, they're working the ball around real nice. Wyman lost it out of oh. bounds. Another turnover. Back-to-back -back turnovers, Marty. 105 left. They're 5 of 7 from the floor, but uh, last two turnovers there. They've been getting some real nice shots, and then uh, even when the shots were a little further, they were left wide open and managed to make them. North just three of eight. Gussie pops in a 15 footer. 12 to nine, 40 seconds left. Well, it looked like a travel, Chris, but not called. Gussie applying pressure out on top. Shot from the top of the key, or from the free throw line is no good. Long pass to Gussie, she takes it to the hoop. Her shot is off. 10 seconds remaining. South has time. Gussie with the steal. She's got time to dribble it in for the layup. And she gets fouled by Kara Selk, her second. She should have just let that one go. A third turnover now on South. The last minute and a half here, three turnovers has uh, let North back in the game. Selk and uh, Smith each have two.
Gussie with a nice release and makes the free throw. There's .7 seconds left. And that's the end of the first quarter. South on top, 12 to 10. Teen years are a challenging time, but they're also a good time to think about your child's health, which is why, if you're the parent of an 11 or 12 year old, you need to know about preteen vaccines. Vaccines that can protect your preteen from meningitis, whooping cough, and for girls, the virus that causes cervical cancer. So schedule a checkup for your child today and ask about preteen vaccines, because your preteen might think that they're grown up. But they're counting on you to know better. Brought to you by DHHS and the CDC. Macy Conter and I. I can have text all night long, but not when I'm driving. What's the point of texting me about a party that you might not make it to? I don't text and drive. Do you? Do you? Do you? Did you say text or sex? Hey, I got an idea. As long as you're texting, why don't you write your own obituary, dumb ass? I don't text and drive. Do you? We don't text and drive. Do you? Brought to you by Rad Terry Vader and his cast of thousands. Friends don't let friends text and drive. Party! Do you? Did you know? Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, a good quarter for both squads. Chris, they handled uh, the ball quite well for the most part. And uh, South particularly shot real well. Yeah, they did. They were 5 of 8 shooting and... Uh, I like their possessions, especially the first seven minutes. They moved the ball around very well and got nice looks. That should have been a turnover. Use it all is not going to dribble that one. And shot goes off the rim and over the backboard. She had a good look, though. Nothing wrong with the shot. I frankly didn't think she traveled. Nope. But a fan below us did. North now just four of 11 from the floor. Oh, right over Wolf. Wyman puts it up and in. That was a great shot. They continue their hot shooting at six of nine. And again, they're getting good looks. Gussie's shot is way off. Kick out. Shot by Maletsky is no good. Gussie again gets the rebound. Oh, nice move. I was going to say it was a pretty nice move till she got too close to the baseline and had a shoot over or, or you know around the backboard. But she picked up a foul and she'll be shooting a pair. Foul goes on uh, Puzzlewitz. North so far, Chris is uh, two for seven on their free throws. Wow, that's a lot of free throw attempts. Yep, they had six in that first quarter. Buries that one. Five team fouls on South, South and two on North. Shot in the lane is no good. That attempt was by uh, Puzzlewitz. Shot by Usedal was good and she gets fouled. Burkhart with the foul. Use it all can make this. It ties up the game. She does. We're all tied at 14 with 632 left in the half. Well, there's a travel. No call, but picking up the foul. Lindsay, or pardon me, Camber Puzzlewitz will be uh, shooting or no? 
They're saying she was uh, doing it on the, was fouled on the dribble. Wow. Yeah. Madison Wolf committed the foul. That's only the third team foul on North. Make that extra pass. Trying to make that extra pass. Shot in the middle by Puzowitz is no good, and then it's tipped out of bounds by Trum. North will keep it. Use it all posting inside, but good defense played under there by Molly Burkhart. Puzzlewitz gets it that time, and she puts it up and in, and she's fouled again. Looking good in the middle, Chris. Yep. And that foul is oh on my. Selk, her third. She won't see much action the rest of the half, Chris, and there's 5.54 left. Whoa. North has the lead the second time. They, they led at the beginning of the game one to nothing. Now they lead by three, 17 to 14, and uh, Tyler Thomas, the South head coach, calls a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Uh, the two three-point plays are the difference, obviously. Yep, yeah, and uh, <coughs> North's... Uh, and oh, let me throw some in. North has made their last three free throws, too. Yeah, and they've, uh, last couple trips here, the last two minutes, they've dominated the quarter. It's been only two minutes, but uh, South, only uh, one basket so far. And uh, been outscored seven to two. South, that is. Yeah, it's been a run. In that first quarter, uh, Neither team had a substantial run. Uh, South did have a four point run. They went from being down one to nothing to being up four to uh, one. And then North had a three point run to end the first quarter. Shot from the side is no good. That shot attempt was by Lauren File. Use it all trying to go baseline. Uh, she travels. Good defense play it again by Molly Burkhardt, preventing uh, Use it all the baseline to drive to the hoop. Gotta like that as a coach, Chris. Chris doesn't like it. Oh, yeah. That was a good <laughs> comment. You made a really good comment. Long pass to Gussie, but uh, nothing doing inside. South hustling back on defense, and again, uh, Burkhart slapping the ball away from Use It All. Wolf's trying to establish some position. McKenzie on one side, and Madison on the other, and they shoot up the three instead. Maletsky shot no good. Easy shot by McKenzie. Wolf was missed. She got a nice rebound and positioned herself for a good shot, but uh, couldn't get it in. North hustling on their zone, but again, an open shot for uh, Molly Burkhart, but it didn't go in. And uh, those shots that were where they were left open in the first quarter aren't dropping anymore, Chris. Yeah, they're just one of five in the quarter, Marty. We're getting another foul, a second foul. Posowitz. Yep, and the foul trouble is mounting as we <coughs> thought it. Coach Thomas is discussing that with the stripes right now. Now, as an official, when you go in at halftime and there's like a 12-4 disparity in falls, you say, we better even it up in the second half. Can't do that. Just kind of what happens, I guess, out there. But I said foul troubles gonna be a big big thing and right now it's definitely well once you got but now once you got the foul troll then it's the depth on your team yeah, exactly that uh, miss broke a string of three straight free throws by north now we get a foul on the north side Aaron 
Not a good Molesky. foul. I don't know if Aaron got her or not. Puzzlewitz on the line. That was the uh, third free throw by South in the half. They are one for three. A good shot of Camber. <laughs> Friendly bounce. South has a squad in there right now that has very good quickness. And uh, use it all is going to have trouble. Uh, but North does a pretty good job finding the open person. Maletsky wide open. No good. Wolf. Good. That was Madison Wolf. I'll tell you, a lot of offensive rebounds for Sheboygan North. Five so far. Lauren File in the middle makes a nice pass inside to Wyman who scores and is fouled. I'll tell you, Lauren File got that ball inside and looked down underneath and found her teammate. Aaron Maletsky picks up the foul again, Chris. What was interesting about Maletsky's fall is she was out on top on defense and you know rotated Rotate all the way down. down. Yeah. That was a nice pass. Wyman's shot is off. Wolf with the rebound. It's a 19 to 17 North. There's 335 left in the uh, second quarter. Gussie. Good rotation of the ball. That shot is off, no good. Gussie's rebound shot is good. Gussie having a nice uh, half. Shot is off, no good. And uh, Wolf with the rebound. Brian Wojcik uh, missed the, Brianna Wojcik missed that shot. Lauren File on the foul. And uh, Madison Wolf going to the line. Wolf had a one for two trip earlier. Makes the first of the bonus. It's 22 17 right now. North on top. Oh, good. Hunter with the board, tried to get it up over the taller Wyman and couldn't get it in. And then Usadol gets an oops foul. Kind of fell down on the back of the uh, South player. CJ Usadol's first foul. Usadol has uh, six points. Gussie's got five. And uh, Madison Wool four for North. For South, Wyman has six, and File, Burkhart, and Smith each have two. Smith back in the game, Chris, with her two falls. File from the free throw line, puts it down. Hey, a couple good trips now for South. They're missing a bunch. Number 34 is uh, Alyssa Litsky, and she, uh, she loses it. Wyman, no good. File, put it in the bank. It's earning interest. We're all tied at 21. 22-21 it should be, pardon me, my bad. Conter with a spin move. No good, rebound, shot is up and in, but let's see if they're gonna count the basket. Tyler Thomas wanted a travel call. Lauren File picks up the foul. Double bonus. Double bonus already. 
I think uh, Coach Thomas had a legitimate complaint. What do you think? I think she counter. traveled because of the push? Uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a south sider, you don't care about the push. Come on. Well, that's why she, I think she traveled. That's why they called it before the shot. It's because of the, the travel. I, I agree with the travel, but maybe because she was shoved. Ooh, the fans are getting a little boisterous down here. 22-21, north on top. Two minutes left in the first half. I tell you, they better guard file on the high post. Fifth turnover there on south. Taking care of the ball real well. Yeah, how many does North have, Chris? They, they don't have too many either, do they? Nope, they only have three. Wow. This said it has to be one of the cleanest North South girls games yep. we've ever, you know, ever had. Good inside feed. Mackenzie Madison Wolf shot is up and in. 24 21. File. Shot was off. Use it all with the rebound. Kicks it down to Gussie going hard to the hoop. Puts it off the glass and in. Nice pass by Use it all to get the break going. Under a minute now, Marty. Under a minute. Smith over to Wyman. Her rainbow shot is no good, but File with the board. Keeping it alive for the Southsiders. Thirty. Yep, thirty seconds left. Burkhart uh, trying to decide which way to go. Wyman underneath the basket hasn't touched it yet, this possession. Clock rolling down to 10 seconds left. File shot from the free throw line is around and down. She's been hot from up on top. Good possession. Shot is off, no good at the buzzer, and we're at halftime where Sheboygan North leads it 26 to 23. Cable access channels are critical tools for local government. They provide important information about issues, services, and programs, as well as local emergencies. They also allow you to watch your local elected officials in action. Through the provision of governmental access channels, our communities are kept informed, educated, and entertained. Where else can you get information about your local government? Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local government access channel. Engineers Without Borders USA answers the call with more than 225 university and professional chapters from a wide spectrum of disciplines. With more than 400 sustainable engineering projects in more than 45 countries, our organization is changing the world. If you would like to find out more about how you, too, can change the world, visit www.ewb-usa.org and click Get Involved. Engineers Without Borders USA. Building a better world, one community at a time. It is time for caring people everywhere to treat animals as more than mere property. To be bred, bought, and sold at an owner's whim. I urge you to adopt your next dog or cat at a local shelter or humane society. Please, be a guardian, not an owner. Hi, I'm Mia Hamm. As a professional soccer player, I know how rewarding sports can be and how quickly injuries happen. So I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to ask athletes to play it safe. With my years of training, I know what it takes to become an expert, and orthodontists do too. They're the experts who help people obtain healthy, beautiful smiles. 
Wear mouth guards, face masks, and helmets to prevent injuries. Keep smiling and visit braces.org. He has 10 offensive rebounds for uh, Sheboygan North. And uh, it has been a tough goal for South. All of a sudden, down by nine. Led after the first quarter. Another turnover. Gee whiz. Tip pass. Gussie with the long pass, feeds it over to Mackenzie Wolf for an easy two. Madison Wolf, pardon me. They're playing together well also, Chris. 11 point lead. It's been an eight point run here in the third. Use it all looking. Stops and pops from 12 wow. and nails it. What a start for North to start the second half. 10 point run. They're five of six from the floor. It's 36-23. Trump shot is no good. Deluga Polsky pushing it. Wolf inside. Wolf shot is no good. And then we get a rub away. Madison Wolf missed the shot. Mackenzie Wolf got the offensive rebound. And uh, that's one of many. <laughs> they've had tonight. Wyman and File coming in. A couple of taller girls, hopefully to uh, offset the uh, Wolves. Inside feed. Shot is off, no good by Mackenzie Wolf. Another turnover, Chris. Wow. Gussie off the glass and in. Nice pass by Use It All again. Well, and Sal couldn't fall there, Marty, with three there, so had to give it up. But wow, it's, what a clean first turn, clear of turnovers. The second half has just been a nightmare. Selk with a three finally breaks the ice. Boy, the Southsiders needed that. And we get a timeout on South here, Marty. 30-second timeout. Finally make a score, so we're going to call timeout. Hey, maybe you don't know what you're talking about because this is the second game in a row that happened. Remember, the uh, yeah. Preble coach did the same thing. Yep. And you complained about it. How'd they do? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Got me there, Chris. That's why you're the color man. <laughs> I think that's the third time out for South already, and uh, obviously you can't save them, but... You know, <laughs> we don't want you to use them either. Well, if you're going to, you know, you may need them if you're going to make a run in the fourth quarter or something. and Yeah, especially down near the, uh, in the very end of the game, yeah. Yep. South picking up full pressure. The largest lead was 15 points. North had a... Uh, 12 point run to start the second half before uh, South finally nailed a three. Yeah, South one of five in the quarter and four turnovers. Inside, wide open, putting it up and in is Madison Wolf. She has 12, use it all as 10. Nobody in double figures yet for uh, the Red Wings. Selk. Loading it up, couldn't get it in. And Selk chasing it down, but tips it out. North will have it back. Good hustle there by Kara. Just couldn't quite grab it there. South gonna try that pressure again. Last time it gave up an easy basket. Well, how can you lose track of the, one of the tallest girls on the court? The tallest girl. Oh, that was a bad pass. Yes, yeah, Selk anticipated it quite well. Leans in, shot is up and in, and she's fouled. Good play by Selk. Yeah, foul trouble's kind of slowed her a little bit, but she realizes this is her last North-South game, and... Uh, she's been a good player, uh, Marty, the last few years. Oh, real nice. A smart girl, she's going to lacrosse next year. Yeah. 
Finishes off the three-point play. It's 40 to 39, 29, pardon me, 40 to 29. Use it all, hard to the basket, put her head down and just went to the hoop. She's five of seven from the floor. 42 to 29. Wyman, I'll tell you, File made a living in the first half from that yep. free throw line. The Lugopolsky is going to get called for the fall. Good call there. Yeah, those shots that were going early on from the basically the free throw line are not falling for the Red Wings, Marty. Camber Puzzlewitz in the game. Lugopolsky comes out. She has uh, three fouls, Chris. She'll probably sit out the rest of the quarter. Well, especially with a lead. Yes, yes, you're right. File with a good positioning inside, but wasn't in position to get the shot off. Yeah, a little shaky now with the catching of the ball, Chris. Good inside feed. Wolf uh, blocks the shot, but she's going to get called for the foul. I think the body. Yep. She stood up tall, but kind of leaned underneath. Madison Wolf picks up her second. Lauren File at the line, shooting two. File with a chance to. Get into double digits on points. She has nine. Played a real fine first half. <laughs> 42 31. Dahlman. Shot off the rim, no good. File with the board. South pushing it up. There it is. That's the oh. shot that she was getting, but she usually had uh, was able to catch it flat-footed and turn and get the shot off. That time she was on the move a little bit. Good kick out by Usedal. Dahlman's shot is good. Taylor Dahlman with a three-pointer. Yeah, she missed her first two, but hit that one. Give Usedal the assist. CJ looking. Good tonight, coming off the bench with 12 points. North looking for their ninth win in a row over South, and uh, committing that foul was Mackenzie Wolf, her first, and uh, Rachel Smith will be going to the line. I think she's going to be shooting three, yes. Yep. We also mentioned earlier, this is a tough league, Marty. They have uh, the number one team in the state to peer. They haven't lost since a year ago, November. Uh, they're ranked number one. Bayport is also ranked. Uh, Manitowoc was ranked early in the year. And Notre Dame is ranked in Division Two. I mean, they, this is a tough, tough league this year. And even some of the teams, North, for instance, has a real nice record. They're uh, no slouch by any means. South has made six out of 10 free throws so far. Make it seven out of 11. They're gonna have to create some turnovers, Marty. They're gonna have to get some easy baskets to start chipping away. It's still 12 points and I don't think they can just match it, you know, just trying to get stops. I think they're gonna have to, oh, there's Hunter, a walk. Yeah. Nice pass inside to Macy, but uh, gotta bounce the ball first. Yeah, I think you gotta start creating some turnovers on the press a little bit or try to get some easy baskets. Yeah, you're right there. Minute minute 30 left in the quarter. North up 45-33. Shot is no good by Burkhart. Self comes away with the board. Working hard on the other side. Smith inside the file. Tried to dump it in, but it was knocked away. And Puzzlewitz 
gets fouled. But Spielman wanted to jump ball. They're going to call Macy on the grab there. Also, it's on the line, shooting a pair. That was a fifth team foul on North. And I told you, they go into halftime and they talk this stuff out, Chris. Right now, it's five team fouls for North and only one for South. That just about evens it up for the game. <laughs> That's just what they wanted. You don't hear the parents call them. Complain like before, yeah. yeah. Well, we're on the South side, down. parent side, so. Hey, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Can't leave points on the free throw line. Left behind, but a break there for South as uh, Wolf stood up, stepped on the line. Even Coach Thomas has stopped yelling at the officials, sort of. <laughs> Smith has it on top, looking to get it inside, but uh, File was being double teamed. Smith looking to go baseline, shot is off, no good. And uh, Burkhart with a nice rebound over uh, Ma Macy Conter, and she gets fouled. Burkhart on the line. Looking to knock home a couple of free throws. Madison Wolf in for her sister. Under a minute left in the third quarter. 52.8 seconds left. Couldn't get it to drop in. Three points and just left uh, at the free throw line. Aaron, Aaron Maletsky had a nice shot and then threw it into a uh, counter. Contra gets a little, or Aaron pass from uh, South. Use it all with a good move, and she gets fouled on the shot. A lot of action, not all of it good, but in the end, North is gonna be shooting free throws. Well, I thought Maletsky had a real nice five footer. She could have just taken the shot. Tried to get it in the counter who was uh, just a couple feet away and didn't really have a good look. Lindsey Gussie is gonna check in for use it all. There he gets a good shot of CJ. She's had a real nice game tonight. Conter, and it tipped away. No, no travel called. And then we get a timeout, 30-second timeout by Eric Spielman. And we heard <laughs> the fans below us on that. They thought it should have been a travel. And uh, they might have had a legitimate complaint on that. <laughs> you know, don't get away with that, Newsberg. You know, I don't hear the officials Yelling at the parents when their daughters throw the ball away. <laughs> Good point. That would be interesting. <laughs> hey, well, that was your daughter that threw it away. I think they ought to have seven officials. Three on the floor, and then one more on each corner of the court to yell out at their, what the heck's your daughter doing? What's your son doing? And they all got to wear striped shirts. Yep. But that's a good point. The officials don't yell back. Well, some of them might. Oh, I thought they'd uh, get the timeout right in front of the bench, Chris. All right, there's 29.4 seconds left. North will probably want to hold it for one. A good steal by Burkhart. She's going to have an easy two. And South's going to need a whole bunch of them come the fourth quarter. Maletsky with a lot of time, pulls it back out. Good move by her. Inside, nice work. Gussie's shot is off. Good block out by File. And that's the end of the third quarter with North up 10.
46-36. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. Did you know that having diabetes puts you at risk for vision loss? I'm Dr. Robert Melendez for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We are urging adults with diabetes to strictly control their blood sugar levels and have dilated eye exams every year. Know your risks. Save your sight. To learn more about diabetes and eye health, visit GetEyeSmart.org. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to start fourth quarter action. North on top, 46-36 on the strength of a 20-point quarter in the third. South had 13. They've been very consistent throughout the night with uh, 12, 11, and 13 points in their quarters. Turnover by the Red Wings, Chris. Lugopolski pulls up from 12, couldn't get the shot in. And nice rebound by Kimberly Wyman. Burkhardt has it on top, being guarded closely north in a zone again. Played zone most of the game. Selk got herself in trouble, but they get it back and Selk gets the rebound. Uh, pardon me, gets the basket. All right, got it under 10 now. That's huge. 46 to 38. Oh, it looked like uh, Use It All might have been called for a carry, but yep. there was none. And good defense inside by File to uh, keep an eye on uh, Madison Wolf in case they try to throw a lob pass. Use It All puts her head down. Looked like she got fouled. Terry Verstrati making that call. I thought that was a good one. Yeah, got it right across the head, I thought. Just a third team foul on South Dole, Marty. Use it all looking, gets it inside to, to Lugopolski, who puts it off the glass and in. Another assist for CJ, use it all. North continuing in the zone. Forcing South to uh, work the ball around and use up precious seconds. A good help by Deluga Polsky, and then use it all drops down for the steal. Deep pass over everybody's head and right off of Eric Wiesman's camera. Richard Bartson safe up here with us. Kerry Kautzer freezing to death in the truck. He brought a little space heater along with him though. Got that working. Eric Miller was the guy that really got us going tonight. The truck was absolutely dead. Nobody left the power plug in and the battery wore down in the truck and uh, we had to get a jump and Eric Miller was Johnny on the spot for that. Kick out the Gussie, three point attempt is down. That's a big one, Marty. Minute ago, it's down to eight. Now it's back to uh, 13. 13. Yeah, that was uh, good work by the uh, Northsiders to work the ball around. Burkhart with five points looking around. Shot from outside the line by the left-handed Brianna Wojcik is no good. And again, North trying to run the floor. Deluga Polsky from way outside the line. That was from Gusky range. Was off. Mackenzie Wolf commits the foul. Her second, that's the seventh foul. So with 5.17 remaining in the game, 
If South can make some free throws, they can crawl back in. Well, that's another thing they haven't taken advantage of is the free throw line. Turnovers are mounting. Another miss. Eight for 16 on their free throws so far. That was McKenzie's 11th rebound. Uh, nice positioning by Madison Wolf, and she puts it up and in. Fifty-three, thirty-eight, fifteen-point lead. That equals the largest lead. A oh, blocked shot inside by Mackenzie Wolf. Wyman had a look, but uh, was rejected. Use it all. We're going to get a jump ball situation. Good defense that time. I didn't see if it was uh, File or Smith, but they uh, Wyman or Smith, but uh, they stopped. Use it all. I think it was Smith. Rachel's an animal. Gussie in the lane. Her 10 footer is no good. Madison Wolf off the glass and in, and she's fouled. Check that. Mackenzie Wolf, number 50. First foul on Kimberly Wyman. I have 14 offensive rebounds for, make it 15 offensive rebounds for North. Madison Wolf hustling down that missed free throw by her sister. Deluga Polsky drives it hard to the basket, couldn't get it in. Wyman with the rebound. It's 55 to 38. Largest lead, 17 points by North. Good pass. Selk to Smith. Bango. Good teamwork on that play by the Southsiders. Use it all, pulls it back out. Under four minutes left in the game. Oop. One extra step. Yep. What do you mean we don't get an extra step? <laughs> We're on our home court. All righty. 340 and rolling. Good inside feed to Camber Puzowitz. Smith open from outside the line. Rainbow shot is no good. Selk with the rebound. Puzowitz shot is blocked. But she's fouled. Picking up that foul is going to be Madison Wolf. Started with the offensive rebound by Selk, her fifth rebound of the night. But uh, here we go again. Got to make your free throws. Eight for 16 so far. Chad Renzelman in the house. Fieldhouse starting to oh fill boy. up a little bit. Yeah, but they get the offensive rebound. Selk's going to take advantage of it, but can't with the three-point shot attempt. Maletsky was open down in the corner, but use it all electing not to throw it a long pass. We have now 13 rebounds for Mackenzie Wolf. Wow. Oh. Mackenzie has eight points, looking for a double-double. Wyman stopped action with her second fall of the fourth quarter. Madison Wolf was wide open, but uh, Gussie making the right decision there by not uh, forcing a pass and turning it over. Puzzlewitz working hard inside on Wolf. 
Gussie open. No. No good. Puzzlewitz with great block, but I'll tell you, time after time tonight, Chris, those South girls have been doing a great job of blocking out the Northsiders. And uh, there's another example where a great block out got your team a possession. 40, 55 to 40, 230 left in the game. North continuing with their uh, zone defense. It's uh, been tough for South to get good looks. And uh, what's even more depressing for them is they haven't been able to get good looks quickly. Puzzlewitz's shot is no good. And Wyman with the save, but right to North. Does that go as a turnover? I didn't know. Well, I didn't think so either. North content to work the ball, look for something inside. Under I, two minutes. I have South is two of eight. Marty in the... Uh, oh, good defense by Selk. Two of eight shooting for South in the uh, fourth quarter here. Wow, that's uh, not going to get it done, and her free throwing has not been good either. Hey. Selk with a three. Out of nowhere. Trying to hang in, but uh, full time out, Kerry. Let's take a short break with uh, 131 left. South trailing by 12. I've changed apartments several times. My roommates have always been trouble. Now, because of the economy, I've had to move back home. When my mom gets drunk, she tells me everything I do is going to fail. I get into arguments with her about her drinking. Dad goes to Al-Anon family groups. I didn't think Al-Anon would work for me, but every time I go, I feel better. If someone's drinking bothers you, you might find help in an Al-Anon family group meeting right here in our community. I found support there. You can too. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Three after tonight. WSCS is 11 and three after tonight. Based on the Martin scoring, North-South games go as a couple wins and no losses. So we always have a pretty good record. <laughs> well, you get four wins. Uh, yeah, four wins a year right there. Yeah. Oh, we get two more. Six wins a year because of the uh, Holy Wars. Yep. Trouble is, in football, we only get one. <laughs> oh, wow. Looking for the deep pass. Got it to Haley Fullerton. Seeing her first action. Haley's a senior. I don't care what those parents say. I think the officials have done a fine job. Yep, I do too. We'd Falcon. mention them by name, but <laughs> they might start to get calls. The, uh... South is going to try to foul here a little bit to. Uh, Self picks up. Kara Self picks up her fourth. Maybe uh, North will miss some free throws and South can get some quick buckets. That was the seventh team foul, so it's not the super bonus, but it doesn't matter to CJ. She puts in the free throw for her 14th point. Selk leads south with 12. Oh, Selk 7th rebound right there. Luga Polsky uh, tipped the ball out of bounds. 118 left in the ball game. A 12 point run to start the second half is what uh, propelled North into a big lead that they've been able to uh, protect here in the second half. And it basically came off south turnovers, Marty. Yeah, you're right there. Dahlman with the rebound off the self miss, and we get a foul. Dahlman will be shooting free throws. Foul goes on Brianna Wojcik. Oh, 
Maddie Opie coming in, number 20. Exactly a minute left, Marty. Just to get some of those other kids in the ball game. Dolman looked pretty sweet on that free throw. Opie's a 5'8 junior. Fullerton is a 5'6 senior. And uh, Coach Spielman able to clear the bench. Dolman knocks home a pair. She has five points. South's got a hurry. They're down by uh, a bunch, 15. Shot is up and good by Smith. Three-pointer. Oh, we'll have some interviews, and boys game will follow, Marty. Looking forward to that. Had a little late start on getting live, but we are live now. Hopefully some people keep checking their dial back and forth. With uh, the win tonight, North is going to move to 13-5, uh, 7-5 and, five, seven and five in conference. South will drop to 7-11 and 4-9 and and in conference. And uh, those seating meetings have to be happening yeah. think, within a week or so. And uh, we'll find out what the pairings are for the tournaments. North uh, does end up their last two games. they got to play state-ranked Notre Dame and De Pere. Oops. <laughs> those are the last two. Yeah. There's a couple of our younger fans. See all those uh, North and South Side fans? They just get along. Yep. I mean, it's, look at that smile. <laughs> You're inside, man. You can take your coat off and stay a while. <laughs> Maletsky, the Lugopolsky has it, being guarded by Selk, and the foul is going to be on Brianna Wojcik. I thought South should have done a little bit more of that earlier when things were kind of crumbling a little bit. Maybe gamble a little bit by putting, you know, two people up and get deny the passing lane. Connor had a slow start with the fouls. You now she misses a free throw. She only has five points in the game. Burkhart from outside the line, rims out, no break there. And then uh, Selk picks up her fifth. Erica Trum checking back in. Sarah Schrank on the floor. Selk finishes with uh, 12 points. Also coming in is uh, Ashley Wagner. Cammy Field in the game? Maybe she didn't suit up tonight, Chris. She'd be the last one. Double bonus now, Marty. Yeah. Fullerton at the line. Makes one of two. Gives North 59 points. South has exceeded North's uh, defensive total by 13. And Fullerton is going to get called for the walk. That was a roll. Twenty seconds left. Inside feed to Shrank. She kicks it out. Shot is up and no good and out of bounds. Wojcik. Uh, Trying to get the basket, but couldn't get it in. 5.6. 
Ooh, they didn't want to foul, but what are you going to do? Shrank commits the foul. And uh, going to the line for a North will be uh, Matty Op Opie. Well, the free throw shooting tonight has not been good by either team. Burkhart's long shot at the buzzer is no good. North a winner, 60 to 46. take a short break when we come back Chris will have some interviews for us and then uh, in about 20 minutes we'll uh, have the uh, boys game every day thousands of community and school groups volunteer and government producers technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available cable TV peg access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC CBS ABC Fox and PBS combined peg access channels provide communities with a diverse independent and local voice Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. easy to help your kids find balance but you have more power than you know for a free parents handbook plus other resources visit the weekend website a message from the US Department of Health and Human Services I, I can have the text all night long but not when I'm driving what's the point of texting me about a party that you might not make it to I don't text and drive do you do you do you? Did you say text or sex? Hey, I got an idea. As long as you're texting, why don't you write your own obituary, dumb ass? I don't text and drive. Do you? We don't text and drive. Do you? Brought to you by Rad Terry Vader and his cast of thousands. Friends don't let friends text and drive. Party! Do you? Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, uh, final score again for the girls. North won 60 to 46 in earlier action on Thursday. South's freshman team defeated North, and this afternoon, North's uh, JV team defeated the Southsiders. A little bit about tonight's game. The, the key quarter of the game, or the key moment, was a 12 point run to begin the third quarter. North ended up scoring 20 points in that quarter, led by 10 after three, and they were able to build on that throughout the fourth quarter. South was led by Kara Selp with 12 points, and Lauren File off the bench had a really nice game. She had 10 points. Kimberly Wyman, the high scorer for the Southsiders, could never get on track during the course of the game. She finished up with six. North had good balance also. 
Madison Wolf and CJ Usedal each finished with 14 points. Mackenzie Wolf had eight points. And uh, the leading scorer for North, Connor Dulugopolsky, again with a slow start, finished with only five points. But it didn't matter as much uh, tonight in, in this ball game. I think the key player for North was uh, CJ Usedal coming off the bench with those 14 points and played an excellent floor game, breaking the pressure by uh, South and uh, creating opportunities and making a lot of nice passes. Also like to do another shout out to Bill Wagner. Hopefully he gets well soon. I think he's supposed to be out of the hospital either tomorrow or Monday. And uh, just want to let you know, Bill, that uh, all the students and staff here at North High School miss you. With the win, North moves to 13-5, uh, and 7-5 and five in conference. South drops to 7-10, uh, and 4-9 and nine in conference. And uh, with that, I'm going to step out. Chris is going to take over with some interviews down on the floor. Hey, we're back here. We got a host of ladies here. Big win for you ladies tonight. It got close in the first quarter, but then the last three quarters you guys did all right. Yeah, it was just we pushed the ball and we just played together as a team. Yeah, I thought you guys did a, uh, it was real close and then all of a sudden in the third quarter, uh, you created like six turnovers against them and I think the defense kind of made the difference. Yeah, our mindset coming out of halftime was just to keep pushing the ball and just run the floor. What do you think of these North-South games? They're the best experience ever. I have a lot of fun and it's great to get a win. Yeah, it's nice playing in a crowd like this and things. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. I thought you guys did a real nice job, like I said, in the second half, kind of taking control. It, it Real good game in the first half, and then the second half, I think they only shot like 30%. Defense important for you guys? Yeah, coach really stressed that at halftime. He said we got to come out strong and be aggressive. Yeah, I thought you guys did a real nice job in the second half, and again, it came off the turnovers, and not just that, but stopping them uh, on their shooting. It seemed like they had a lot of nice looks at the free throw line in the first half. In the second half, you got hands up and things. Yeah, they got some really good shooters, and Coach told us to get our hands up and make sure they can't get the ball. Now, you've been through this for a couple years with this. Uh, your your thoughts about North-South week? Well, it's always exciting with the pep rallies, and everyone's here, and it gets, it gets you into the game. You really like it. You guys do something as a team during the week at all? Do you have a dinner or something? Yeah, I went to a pasta party the night before. And that, that went all right? Possibly. Well, congratulations. Connor, we'll talk to you a little bit. One of the things that happened in the game today was offensive rebounds. You had like 15 offensive rebounds. You girls really hit the glass today. Yeah, they did, and the Twins did a great job, and we got a lot of second chances, which made the lead as big as it was. You got into early foul trouble, but your team really, you know, stepped for you, and it's kind of been that way. You were kind of sick earlier and had some girls sick, so you had a little... Yeah, it was a rough game for me, but the uh, rest of my team did a great job, so I'm proud of it. Now this is your last North-South game, too. I, I think you mentioned it before, but... And it's again about north It was great. I wish, personally, I wish I would have gone on a better game, but a win's a win, and you got to give credit to the Red Wings and South because they put up a fight each and every game, but... Yeah, is practice different for, for you, too, during the week for these North-South games, or is it just like any other way? Um, earlier in the week, we had a, a game against Manitowoc, so a lot of focus was on that, and just because earlier in the season we lost to them and we wanted to get the win. So, uh, la like, especially yesterday was pretty intense, but definitely today and yesterday, all we thought about was this game. Yeah, that was a nice revenge game for you. A win against South kind of can catapult you a little bit. You still got Notre Dame and the Pier, two tough teams. You guys play in a really tough league. Yeah, we do, but I know that we can do it. Yeah, it's, I, I just said it's one of the toughest conferences in the league, and every game's a, you know, a struggle. There's not a lot of easy ones, and you guys have played with some teams like the Peers and things, and maybe you can catch a team like that, and just building through the year to get better? Yeah, we take every game to our advantage and always get better that way. What are your thoughts about these North-South games and all these fans and everything? Um, it's always really exciting. It's always a really good rivalry. It's always fun. Do you uh, hear all the fans, or are you kind of just in the game? Once the game's going, you just kind of focus on the game? Well, like, once you're in the game, you kind of tune them out and then just play your own game. Well, congratulations to all you ladies. Our uh, Lady Raider victory. We're going to have the boys game coming up. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. All right, great job on the interviews, Chris. Uh, WSCS is testing new equipment tonight that allows us to go live. 
and uh, we would like some feedback from you, our viewers, about how it is working. You can contact WSCS at 459-6663 Monday through Friday during regular work hours or through the station's website, wscssheboygan.com. We're going to check out for a little bit, and we'll be right back with the opening for this second basketball game. North against South in the boys' game. <laughs> 